Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, we have my Spartan Collection Jaeger figure. Here's the full shot of it. Right, let's get into it. Alright. Man, they really don't want you taking it out of the box. That's for sure. Guys, he even takes the inner plastic to the outer plastic. It's just falling off. God. Well, I just saw one of the hands fell out, so we have five hands, five extra hands. So let me get them out, because one already fell off. Alright. I guess the egg is going to be even harder to get out. So. Let me just pull this stuff out of the box. Maybe for cut cameras to get it out. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so here this beast is out of the packaging. My oh, man. He ain't fitting in the frame, I guarantee it. This guy's six foot tall. <laughs> so, yeah. First, obviously, he's got the. Uh, what is all this shadow something? It, it's got a name. I just forget the name. It, it eludes me at the moment. But, yeah, this blade's got a name. Uh, maybe it'll come to me later in the um, video, hopefully. If not, I'll leave the blade in the comments, whatever I, the name of the blade in the comments, whatever I think of it. If you all think of it before I do, then comment it down below. So, uh, this guy just looks awesome. But let's take a look at his accessories first. So let's stand him up back there. In the room. So first, we got his pulse carbine. Looking really good. Yeah. Really like it. Yeah. So next, we got his energy blade. I attached it to his hands. So we also got his sword hand. Well, with the energy blade, looks really good here. The fingers of the hand, the red blood blade, looks really good. Next, we got like a pointer finger hand, like a double pointer finger hand, a single pointer finger hand again, and a double pointer finger hand again. Alright, so let's, let's see how the hands look on him. So here he is with his single pointer hand. Or double pointer hand. The single pointer hand. So here's the double pointer hand for his um, robot hand. The little pointer finger. So here's the single pointer finger hand. So then here's his sword holding hand on him. And while we're talking about that, here's him holding his energy sword. Looks really good. So yeah. So here's him holding the pulse carbine, the best I could get it. He really don't like to hold this very well. So yeah. Alright, so let's really take a look at the pulse carbine. Looks really good. Really like it. So yeah, it's just a really good detail. Well, I'm actually glad we got this in the Spark Collection form. Actually, I think we got it one other time in the Spark Collection form. I don't think I got that figure. Yeah, it just looks really good. Well, let's take a look at the Energy Sword hand. It looks really good. You can see all the little like lines and electric effects, uh, effects going through it. Just looks really good. Really like it. So, yeah, there's the Energy Sword hand. All right, so for the articulation, the head goes up and down a little bit. Not too much because of the little back thing here, brace, as I call it. 
Uh, this elbow bends about that far because this will get in the way. This one can bend 90 degrees exactly, I'm pretty sure. Be careful walking over there, you spray. Alright. Uh, the first knee joint on the top goes about that far out, and the second one can go that far out. You can bend it back up to look where we're going to eat. Leg can go on about that far of a front kick without the extension. That far of a side kick without the extension. Ankle through. Go side to side. This one can't go all the way around. Maybe go up and down just a little bit on a rocker. Shoulder on the robot arm goes that far up. And on this arm, it goes only that far up due to the armor piece right here. But yeah, so it's good. You got the red mandible right here. And yeah, looks good. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.